Hi, and welcome to this demonstration where we'll be talking about how we can utilize the IBM Web Content Manager to manage the content for an iPhone application. The particular iPhone application we have here for this demonstration is the IBM website, um, which is available on the iPhone. So we've got an iPhone here with the IBM icon. If I was to click through on the icon, we can see um, the IBM website here. Now, this entire iPhone website was built using the IBM Web Content Manager, using standard components such as uh, menus, navigators, and uh, page templates. The, it's got a um, very familiar Apple look and feel, and we get that by utilizing the iWebKit 5 framework for managing the look and feel. Now, at the very top there, we've got a, the um, breadcrumb navigation, which is just a WCM navigator. Below that we've got the search bar and below that we've got three tabs which um, is built using a WCM navigator. So if we click through on let's say the, uh, the news tab there, um, we get a list of different news items. There are three in this particular case. If you select one of those, it opens up the actual news story which is all managed uh, in IBM Web Content Manager. If we click through onto products, we get a list of um, the products which are available on the um, IBM iPhone site. There are three there. But for the purposes of today's demonstration, we will go back to the news area where there are currently three news news items. Now, there's three news items on the um, on the iPhone site. But if we go back to the, the browser here, we can see um, the full IBM website here and the news area as well. We've got five news stories on the IBM website. Now, this news site is also managed by IBM Web Content Manager. Um, if I click on content authoring here, we can see we've got inline editing features. It recognizes that I've logged onto the website, and with my login, I've got the ability to go and create some new news um, for this particular page here if I wanted to. You can also um, create content using the more familiar um, uh, authoring portlet interface for Web Content Manager. Here we've got a launch page which um, provides functions around how we can create content, view content, as well as approve content if you're a manager. In this case, we're going to go and create a new piece of news for our, our news area. So I click on new create content and select the appropriate news template. And what loads up here is a, a news template. Um, for, for creating our, our new news story. Now, it, I can fill in the name for the news. I can select the location of where I want it published as well as um, fill in a, uh, a content body here. Now, for this particular story, I've already created it in Word. So I'm just going to go in and just do a copy and paste from Word into our content management tool. Now there's a filter here which allows me to filter out um, the, the Word document to make it cleaner HTML. So I'll select the clean HTML filter and we've got the content imported in there. What I'm going to do is just move around some of the, this text to produce our um, the title for the story as well as select an image for this particular news story. I can select something from the image library or I can select something from my hard disk. So I've got something on my from my C drive there which I will upload into the um, into my news story. So there we have it. So the last thing I need to do before I can publish this piece of content is I need to select the location of where I want it published. There are two areas that I can publish this to. I can publish this into our internet news site which I will select, that's the public website. And in this case, I also want to publish it onto our iPhone um, application. So I'm going to select the iPhone news site as well. So I'm publishing it both to the internet site as well as the iPhone site. I'm just going to go and save that now. Now, for the purposes of today's demonstration, I've logged on as the administrator. So what I'm going to do is um, use my administration rights to push this piece of content through the approval cycle. So you can see that the content is currently, the status is currently in draft. I'm just going to go and push it onto the next stage. 
and we'll push it past the final stage and we'll publish it. Ask me for a, a comment. So, content looks great. Approved. So now we can see that the status for the content is now published. So if I was to um, browse back to our, our um, the IBM website and just do a refresh on this news page, we can see that the IBM, the story that we published, the IBM WebSphere Portal and Web Content Manager version 8 beta 2 is now available. The story is now available on the, the uh, site. If I click through on it, that's the piece of content that we took from Word and the image that we in, inserted, and that's available on our website. Now, if we look at our iPhone, and if I just refresh the, um, the news page there, you can see that a story that we published onto the uh, public website is also available on the iPhone because we selected it to be. And if I tap through onto the, um, onto the news story, you can see it's exactly the same content with a different look and feel. Uh, in this case, obviously, it's a look and feel for the iPhone. Uh, but single source of content, publishing to um, a public website as well as to an iPhone device. Now, I just want to show you some further integration that we've done um, with the IBM Web Content Manager to the um, with, with the actual iPhone itself. So, so somebody could be browsing this um, the IBM iPhone site. Um, they could have some queries about some products and they go to the About Us tab to contact IBM. So from here I can mail IBM, I can send them IBM an SMS, I can phone IBM, um, I can view a, a corporate YouTube video or I could um, uh, view the location of where the IBM offices are. Now all of that um, content there is also managed through IBM Web Content Manager. So if I was to just go back here, and we look at the about page itself. You can see that the about page here, if I put it in edit mode, um, has a number of different fields which any business person could come in and manage. Um, so for example, I could give the IBM corporate email address as my email address, my phone number, Copy that and we'll make that the corporate SMS as well. There's a, a link to a corporate IBM YouTube video as well as a, a map locations for the uh, Sydney office for, for IBM. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and save that. And if we go back to our um, iPhone application, if I just reload that page. Now for example, I, if I'm browsing the um, the IBM iPhone site, I've, I've got some queries on let's say the, the portal product and I want to contact somebody in IBM, I can just click on the phone link there and it will prompt you, um, do you want to go and call the IBM number? So it integrates with the, the iPhone, the phone itself, or I could maybe send a, a text message click on SMS and it will open up the Apple messaging application and it will also um, create a new SMS to the um, appropriate IBM SMS contact and I can type my message in there. Um, going back to the site, obviously if I click on mail it will then open up the, the, um, the mail client within the Apple iPhone allow me to send a um, uh, a message to IBM. If I click on the YouTube, it will open up the YouTube video, the IBM corporate YouTube video. If I open up maps, it will give me a map for the IBM offices. And finally, if I click on contact us, um, this is just an example of how we can actually build um, F I um, Apple iPhone looking um, forms using IBM Web Content Manager as well. So this is all done through uh, components in the IBM Web Content Manager. Allows me to do things such as if I uh, click on name, it brings up a keyboard. I can start typing my name. If I'm smart enough that I click on phone, it will give me a numeric keyboard. 
Sir Ragnar Pot in Mumbai. There are also switches for, for example, uh, cookies, etc. There's also drop down lists. I'm interested in uh, WCM and put a comment there. Please. And in this particular case, I've got this submitting to a, a Domino database. So if you click on submit, it will go off to a, a Domino database. Okay. So that just gives you a, a bit of an overview of how we can um, use the IBM Web Content Manager to build a, a complete iPhone content site and have it properly managed as well. Thank you very much.